Hello, welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to have a look at another mathematics Olympiad type question. In this particular one it says in the diagram, which is a 3 by 3 square, that's this one here, there's a total of 14 squares of all sizes. And they're asking us what the total number of squares of all sizes on the 6 by 6 square board shown below. And we're given five answers to choose from. Now you can sit there and try and work them all out from the 6 by 6 board in front of you. And it's not an easy process. And this sort of question is meant to take about two minutes. Okay, so what does one do? We need to predict from a 3x3 three three to a 6x6. Six six. Again, that's not easy. So we need to go two steps back and have a look at a 1x1 one one square, then a 2x2 two two square, and look at the 3x3 three three square they've told us about, and then predict for a 4x4 four four square, and then it become obvious what to do for the 6x6 six six square. So, I have drawn a 1x1 one one square in red, and it's obvious that for a 1x1 one one square there's only one possibility. And in green, I've drawn a 2x2 two two square, so for the 2x2 two two, we can see there's one large square, plus four small ones, so it's a total of five. And we've been told but for the 3x3, three three, for the 3x3, three three, there are 14. Well, there's one large square, we know that. And how many small ones are there? It's obvious it's 9. The 2x2 two two squares, I've drawn them and shaded them in for you in blue. There are only four possibilities. So the total is in fact 14, as they told us. So what we're going to try and do now is summarize this. So, for the 1x1, one one, There's only one. For the two by two, there's one plus four, which is five. For the three by three, there's one plus four plus nine, which was fourteen. So what would we what would it be for the four by four? Well, we need to recognize these numbers that are showing up. Do you remember what they're called? They're called, they're called square numbers. 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3. So what would it be then for the 4 by 4? We would expect it to be 1 plus 4 plus 9, plus 16. 1 plus 4 plus 9, where you know is 14. 14 plus 16 is 30. So we're expecting 30 possibilities. Well, I've drawn two 4 by 4 squares to try and help me see if I can get to 30. So, we're going to go for the 3 by 3 first. Okay, um, I'll go across here, and that's one possibility, and then here's another one. If we go a level down, we go across and down, that's one, and there's another one. So how many is that? Four. So there was one large one and four three by three. 
and 16 small ones. We now need to see if there are 9 2 by 2. Here we go. That's the first one. That's another one. There's one in the middle. That's three on that level. If we go one level down, that's one, that's two, and that's three. And if we come down one more level, we have one, two, and three. So three on each level would give us nine. So it works. Now, can you predict for the 6x6? Six six? Of course, you can do the 5x5 five five one if you want. It's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36. I can see that I end in 36 because each one of these is end up, ended up if it's a 4x4 four four times four is sixteen. Three by three, three times three is nine. Two by two, two times two is four. One by one, it's one. So six by six will end up in thirty-six. Well, we already know that these here add up to thirty. Thirty plus twenty-five is fifty-five. Fifty-five plus thirty-six is ninety-one. We'll go back a minute and check the answer. To extend this, what would it be for the 10 by 10? And what would it be for the n by n? And I'll leave you to think about that one, see if you can uh, work it out. This one obviously does not give you an exact answer, although at higher level they can work it out. This one here, you should be able to figure out. Okay, so let's go back. 91 is the option C. Well, I hope you found that interesting and useful. On to the next one. Take care.